commodities and indices started the week with a modest bullish note we have seen the gold and silver rising we have seen the oil and gas rising and the indices were also not far behind we have seen getting very strong support on the downside the indices also traded with a modest bullish tone well, now what to expect from gold silver crude oil net gas the s p nasdaq and dow jones with the us session we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day those who had watched the first update must have already profited the subscribe and press the bell icon do like share and join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first we look into gold followed with silver then crude oil and net gas and then in the end indices the s p nasdaq and dow jones the chapters are also included so that you can skip to your favorite instruments let's start with gold now see gold on the early charts you can see it is taking support from the 20 period and rising and now it has taken the divergence from the 20 period it could retrace now retracement means still 2435 should be a very good support and below that the strongest support for gold for the day on the downside is towards 2424 24 22 zone as long as it respects this i should not treat gold as bearish or one should not treat gold as bearish as long as 24 22 24 24 levels are not taken what is happening here see it is still trading in this modest bullish channel on the upside we have seen 24 45 levels as we expected and predicted earlier in the day that 24 45 is going to be a very good resistance it is yet proving out to be a greater resistance. moving averages here are bullish the stock has take over bought macd has crossed over here trading with little divergence and staying bullish the rsi is overbought slightly overbought here on the two likewise on the two hrc it is forming a cusp see this was the last time when it is uh, traded bullish it is waited for the 20 period moving average to climb up now it is still in the bullish zone only thing here is uh, the candles are outside bullying up bands and you can see diminishing bullishness here so uh, still i will say that as long as 24 35 levels are not taken we should not be entering a sell here those who want to risk a little can sell at 24 40 but with caution here it is still got bullishness and uh, a breakout beyond 24 45 46 should take it towards 24 51 24 55 and in fact higher levels are also possible see uh, what has happened moving averages here are definitely trading with divergence rise retracement waited for the moving average this is the second leg of rise so possibly more bullish momentum may prevail the stock has take over but macd bullish rsi near to top here on the three the observation is more or less same diminishing bullishness but also here you can see higher lows here are getting seen and thus once it stays beyond 23 45 24 45 46 we can look forward to a good rise towards 24 51.5 24 55.5 zone and yes here also same observation price is retraced and now giving a breakout so this rise can continue here for a while stock has take over bought macd rising rsi is near to top on the four hour the observation here is same uh, a rise bit of consolidation then two bullish candle we can expect a third one to be here soon and thus possibility of a rise exists however a buying entry is only about 24 45 46 yes the stock stick is rising the macd is also rising the rsi is flat near to top coming to daily before we look into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship badge and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram Trade with me, reach out to me via telegram or email. My telegram and email IDs are there in the channel and video description. And those who had asked me to recommend a broker which is safe, secure with global presence, which offers you a swift free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges, you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. Now look at the daily charts, higher highs, higher lows. It is uh, within the flag formation here. And thus it is very, very important now to for it to stay beyond 24, 45, 46. That is going to be the first resistance and beyond 45 46 i will be ideally looking at 40 uh 51.5 in fact 55 and then 24 62.5 levels are also possible if it continues to trade bullish and gives the breakout here we can expect similar size or at least half the size which means greater bullishness may prevail on the downside now a selling entry in uh, gold here is at 24 35 levels uh, below 2435 36 uh, zone we can expect it to move towards 24 30 32 very very nearby but we cannot avoid it this is the first support zone then 23 uh, 24 24 levels will come into picture the strongest support exists here at 24 24 24 22 and if and only if it breaks below this zone you can say that the bears will be in action and then we can look forward to 24 14 24 08 2400 and in fact lower levels but this will be the case when it shows a complete reversal chances for which appears to be very very less today with that let's have a look at see silver on the early charts uh 
सेम ऑब्जर्वेशन राइज रिप्लेसमेंट एंड राइज दिस इज द सेकेंड लेग ऑफ बुल रन हियर and yes it is formed a good base now at 2780 which is going to be a very good support now previously this was the resistance now this is going to be the support so a selling entry is only below 2780 75 as uh, with that as support it is looking forward to a rise and i will be looking forward to uh, 28 15 28 20 and in fact 28 40 50 levels so yes you can buy here when you see silver uh, staying about 28 when you see the lower price is about 28 you can initiate a buying entry stock has take over bot macd rising rsi is near to top on the two hour chart similar observation what we had shared here and i have mentioned earlier in the day with my asia session update that we are looking forward to a rise moving averages here are divergent and bullish looking upwards and see what is happening here the drop in silver was from 2850 this is a retracement it could retrace it could in fact hit 2850 levels and then drop again yes stochastic overbought macd divergent rsi overbought here the indicators are still uh, showing a bit of overbought levels here but there is further room for silver to rise if you look at the 3 hour charts a uh, similar observation on the 3 hour charts rise retracement and then this breakout and also this is just two candles away from the breakout so possibly there is still further more room on the upside and uh, the strongest one is at 28 15 28 20 if it breaks it then you can say 28 40 50 will be seen beyond which sky is the limit for silver chances for which appears to be less moving averages are convergent here stock has taken over bot macd rising rsi flat on the four hour the only concern point on the four hour charts which i have is the diminishing bullishness see the previous previous candle though it was in green but you can see the size of the candle it suggests that the bulls are not very much interested and this also indicates that there are going to be even if it stays about 28 28 10 15 20 should be a very very good resistance and then if it is stays about 28 15 and 20 you can say 28 40 50 is definitely going to be there yes the stock has taken rising the macd rising and the rsi is also showing a little right and on the daily chart likewise on the daily chart see what has happened a bullish candle bit of consolidation and the second one to follow now see the 20 period moving average also sitting at 28 15 20 should be a achievable level and it is going to be a greater resistance as well this will also complete the retracement here for silver and from these levels in fact it can move towards 2850 and at those levels we will see how it behaves that will be possibly a reversal sign or indication for silver right now it appears there is still further bullishness stock has taken macd after uh, days of bearishness it is willing to converge the crossover here can lead to bullishness rsi is also rising consider very simple buy at 28 dollar levels but remember exclude the spreads your lower price has to be about 28 expect 28 15 20 as the first target zone 28 40 50 as the next and beyond that is sky is the limit to us 28 80 29 $20, dollar levels uh, remember for the week for the month for the day 29 20 and 29 50 levels should not be breached by silver in any case beyond that only we should treat this as bullish else it is a retracement on the downside a selling entry now i will recommend is at 27 75 below 2775 expect 2760 2750 is the first target zone 2725 is the next and then 27 dollar levels will be seen. chances for this appears negligible today take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at crude see crude oil today kept moving up first and you can see a very good base is formed at 76 with that as base you have seen this rise earlier in the day i have mentioned that once it stays beyond 76.3 we can look forward to a good rise towards 76.8 77 and it has still got some room for it or for the rise but very very important for it to break beyond 77 that is going to be one key milestone for it to break yes the stock has taken over but but look at the macd on the early charts just starting to diverge which means it has lot much of room on the upside the rsi is also entered into overbought zone if you look at the two hour charts see beautiful movement and formation here moving averages crossing over here trading with divergence and bullishness 75 levels have become a support and if you look at the formation here uh, looking up first the high is here at 77 and once it breaks beyond 77 we can say there could be a stronger move which can in fact take it towards 78.4 78.6 if not today then possibly tomorrow but yes uh, staying beyond 77 certainly more bullish momentum is going to be seen a stock has taken over bot macd flat rsi entering into overbought zone on the 3 hour charts See on the three hour charts, I have mentioned earlier in the day, double bottom is seen. Thus, this could lead to a rise. A beautiful rise is seen here. 
next thing is it is showing a bit of narrowing triangle it has to give a breakout above 77 very very clear above 77 only we can say further bullishness will be seen yes it is slightly overbought and the rising rsi is also rising coming to four likewise on the four hour chart the observation is more or less same it is trading with modest bullishness here trading in this narrow bullish channel only selling entry now is below 76.3 in fact if you are selling at 76.3 76 75.8 75 and 75.5 only below 75.5 in fact let me include 75.2 and 75 as well as long as oil respects 75 today tomorrow and this week we should not be treating this as bearish this is very clear if you look at the stock i think this is overbought the MACD is rising the rsi is rising good sign here for the bulls coming to the daily on the daily charts what has happened bit of consolidation forming a support at 76 it is starting to show a little rise just it need to break beyond 77 earlier uh Theme. every time i have shared this look at this this is an expanding triangle and it may attempt to hit this zone at 78 point uh, 78 78.6 zone this zone is achievable very soon if not today some point of time in this week it appears to be an achievable level but where it closes today it's going to be important any drop below 76 will negate the move and possibly we can see a reversal below 76 stock has to go over bot look at the macd crossing over here at the bottom trading with divergence couple of candles away it appears there is lot much of room available on the upside rsi rising so looking at this buy at 77 expect 77.3 77.6 and 78.2 78.5 levels beyond 78.5 78.6 sky is the limit chances for this move appears to be less at least today on the downside a selling entry now i will recommend 76.3 below which you can expect 76 only below 76 we can expect slight bearishness towards 75.75 75.5 and 75.2 as long as it respects 75.2 75 i will not treat oil as bearish it can bounce back and in fact i do not see it breaking this levels at least today take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at natural gas net gas has opened the week with a gap up here and it has consistently traded bullish it has breached past 2.3 move towards 2.34 2.33 zone and i can see a bit of a struggle here also if you look at the formation it is trading in this modest bullish channel forming a nice flag here it has to come out of this channel which means it has to break beyond 2.3435 levels in order to stay bullish else what is happening it is trying to move towards the 20 period moving average staying at 2.28 we have to be watchful at the current levels uh Possibly it may wait for the 20 period to climb up and then retrace. That is one possibility we should always look at. The stock I stick looking down from the overbought zone. MACD has seen good rise, willing to converge crossover for sell. RSI overbought. Coming to 2 hour on the 2 hour chart, similar observation trade with this modest bullish channel. And yes, after a bit of greener candles, it is now showing first red candle, but also it is forming a double bottom. So only sell. If you see it is staying below 2.28, then only I will recommend a sell here where you can expect 2.25, the strongest support in 2.23 levels. Stock I think overbought, MACD rising, RSI overbought here. And on the 3 hour, the observation is more or less same, rise retracement, rise retracement and rising again. A possibility of a retracement exists here where it can try to move towards 2.28, 2.25 zone. Uh, but you have to be cautious here. I will still not say that it is turning bearish as long as it respects 2.25 and 2.2 zone. Yes, it is overbought. Yes, it is rising uh, and it is definitely overbought on other time frame. But remember, this is natural gas. When it is dropped, it is consistently stayed bearish for months and weeks and uh, consistently stayed oversold so now when it's rising it can continue to trade bullish as well and thus we have to be watchful right now the signs of reversal are very very less moving averages are definitely crossed over and looking upwards these two dips are certainly one uh, key point for us that there could be a third dip hitting the lows it can bounce back and thus you should watch out the stock has take overbought macd rising and rsi overbought here so it is also getting slightly overbought coming to the daily now look at the daily charts what has happened series of greener candles here and it is looking up first and it appears there is still lot much of room available for it on the upside towards 2.4 levels uh, but uh, i will recommend a buy if you see it is staying about 2.34 when you see the lower price is about 2.34 you can initiate a buying entry we can look forward to 2.37 and 2.4 levels here very very good resistance exists till 2.4 levels and these are also achievable levels remember it is breaking this bearish channel and willing to reverse so this retracement or can continue here for a while taking the in fact prices towards 2.6 moving averages have also started to converge stochastic overbought macd 
See, after hitting the base here, it is now diverging, which suggests there is a further rise, which is to be seen. RSI is rising as well. Considering this, buy at 2.34, sell at 2.3. Below 2.3, be careful at around 2.28. This is going to be a very, very good support for the day. And only and only if rather those who want to trade safe should sell at 2.28. But yes, a bit of risk is fine. Then sell at 2.3. First target should be at 2.28. Next at 2.25. Only below 2.25, there should be bearishness here. On the upside, I will recommend a buy now at 2.34. Expect 2.37, 2.4 levels as the next target. Beyond 2.34 is where the bulls are waiting. Take your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at S&P 500. See, S&P traded with modest bullishness. One thing important here is the support. It is shown towards 5335 levels, uh, which is the only level below which I will recommend you to sell. And see what has happened. It is still respected. We have discussed earlier in the day why 5350, 5360 is a greater resistance. It is still struggling at the same zone. And once it stays above this, we can in fact look forward to 5400, which is also an achievable level for the day. So thus wait for it to break beyond 5360 levels. Though the moving averages here are definitely bullish. Yes, the stock stick is rising after a bit of drop. The MACD, if you look at rise, retracement, rise, retracement, and a reversal here can be uh, expected. The RSI is almost flat on the hourly charts. Coming to two hour charts, another important thing on the two hour charts is here also it is crossed over the moving average and these are looking up first. Second thing is a very good support is now seen here at 5340, 5335 levels. Only selling entries below this. In fact, 5330 and 5320, very, very good support exists here for S&P on the downside. A stochastic flat, MACD almost flat and RSI is also flat. On the three R charts, uh, similar observation, nothing different. See what is happening here. The drop is started here. This is trading in this retracement channel. The upside here at 5380. And this is going to be a good resistance. 5400, the ultimate one. Any move beyond 5400 is the sign of reversal. Here also the moving average is crossing over here. Good sign for the bulls. Yes, all the indicators are rising. On the 4 hour charts, if you look at the observation is more or less same. Remember what has happened. Uh, V-shaped recovery, symmetrical formation and it is continuing in this bullish channel. What preceded this was a good drop. What could follow is a good rise. It is waiting for a breakout here. Be careful. It is waiting for a breakout here. A move beyond 53,8400 is ultimately is going to bring stronger bulls here in S&P. Yes, it is at the top, and but it is still rising. And remember, it has got lot much of room on the upside. Coming to the daily on the daily chart, see what has happened. The last two last that is last trading session last week was a swing candle here. We have seen little bullishness here, and then uh, it has closed in green with little swings. Today again, it has started the week on a flash no, uh, flat note. It has delivered already higher lows and higher highs. We are waiting for 5360 levels now to be taken. Uh, now a move beyond 5360 should take it to us 5375 80 at the first target and in fact we can look forward to 5400 now 5400 is one milestone it would like to achieve at least and beyond 5400 there should be further bullishness taking it till towards 50 12 18 zone and beyond this more bullishness may prevail because see uh if you look at the formation here this is trading in this channel and the top of this channel is towards 54 12 18 zone so this is on the upside. A selling entry on the downside I will recommend is at 53.35, below which you can expect 53.20. Very good support. 53.20 and 53.00. This is the strongest and extremely strong support here on the downside for S&P. Below 53.00 is where the bears are waiting. 52.80, 52.50 levels will be seen. Chances for this appears to be very, very less today. Take your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at Nasdaq. See, Tech 100 on the early charts, a flat base is created with the help of 20 period moving average and with the support levels at 18,500, 18,480. For throughout the day, we have seen it is struggling to break beyond on the upside 18,580, zone. This is definitely going to be now one critical resistance for it to break past by. And uh, let me include 18,625 as well. If these three levels are taken, we can look forward to a rise towards 18,660, 18,710 and in fact higher levels. So this is going to be a breakout move. Important thing is the support it is getting on the downside. Because once it breaks 18,480, we are looking forward to a stronger correction as well. But chances for this appears to be stochastic, right? MACD has seen a bit of retracement. RSI is staying flat. Coming to 2 hours, the crossover in the moving averages certainly is a sign of bullishness. And also a very good support is seen at 18,500, 480. With that as support, it is trying to rise and it can try to stay bullish. Though the stock has has dropped, look at the crossover here in MACD. This is not a good sign for the bulls. And this is also coming at a slightly higher level. It does not mean it can cannot rise further. But yes, 
uh, right now there is a good resistance here at this zone the rsi is flat coming to three similar observation flat or trying to retrace trying to reverse a uh, possibility or possible bearish move can be expected if it stays below 18500 480 where you can look forward to 18 450 18 400 as the next possible achievable levels and if it drops below 18 380 consider this as a reversal it is slightly overbought it is rising here and uh, on the three r charts the rsi is staying flat on the four r charts likewise a good support but then the bullishness is getting diminished on the upside and getting a stronger resistance as well on the upside very very important for it to break beyond 18 600 625 yes it is slightly overbought on the stochastic while the MACD is still in green and rsi is showing a rise coming to the day now on the daily charts what has happened with the support here today it has started on a slight swing and almost on a flat note from 18500 we have seen it rising now it is aspiring to achieve 18800 very very soon uh, now it is clear that it has to there has to be a move which is going to prices take the prices towards 18800 but uh, right now it has to break first the critical milestone at 18600-625 only beyond which we can say that the bulls will try to take over so we have got our buying entries clear also our selling entries are clear at 18500 but then also 18475, 18450, 18420, 400, till 18400, extremely important support. In fact, let me include 18360 and 18330 as well. Extremely, extremely crucial support exists on the downside. A possibility of a recovery and a rise exists from these. Take your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at Dow. See what US 30 has done so far for the day. It is just rested with on the 20 period moving. See, it is just resting here. And uh, with that, a support showing a good rise here and staying within the zone. So it has to break out either above 39600 or below 39450 levels uh it is it is breached 39550 that was the first resistance zone but now waiting for 39600 630 zone in order to confirm further rise stochastic rising macd is convergent here trying to cross over rsi is showing a little rise on the two hour charts also if you look at see a very good is formed here it has to break this support till 39400 350 extremely extremely crucial support exists here what is happening on the two hour charts see couple of retracement candle one breakout candle second is making here so it can continue over 39600 and i will look forward to 39700 and 39800 levels as well yes why look at the rise here rise a bit of consolidation and retracement waited for the 20 period to climb up and now looking upwards so a breakout here is going to be definitely a stronger one it is going to take it in fact towards 39800 as well stochastic rising macd almost flat rsi is showing a little rise on the 3 hour charts also similar observation uh, a v-shaped recovery back into the channel the highs of the channel at around 39700 800 zone yes the stock stochastic is rising the macd rsi all are showing a little rise on the 4 hour charts also if you observe now look at the 4 hour charts consolidation and the rise possibility of the move towards 39750 800 exist here yes the stock stochastic rising macd rising rsi rising good sign for the bulls coming to the day likewise on the daily chart see a bit of swing here higher lows are done for the day and now higher highs so possibly once it stays above this zone at 39600 630 uh, i will be looking forward to 39700 as the first milestone and in fact i will be looking forward to 39800 as the stronger one these levels are definitely achievable in fact beyond 39800 the chances of 40000 levels cannot be denied here look at the formation stronger bearishness a breakout here the rise here can be extremely strong stochastic overbought macd is bearish trying to converge rsi rising looking at this buy at 39600 expect 39630650 at the first target zone 39710 is the next 39800 is the third and in fact 39920 30, 30 and 40000 levels are also possible these are markets if it can drop sharp it can rise sharp as well on the downside a selling entry now i will recommend is only below 39450 as long as 39450 is not breached not taken do not read us 30 is bearish Below 39,450, wait for 39,400, 380 at the first, 39,300, 320 at the next. Only below 39,300, the bears will take over. Take your trades accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my Signals channel. Reach out to me for your queries related to the services. Join the free Telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Do not miss to watch every day the first update with the Asia and Europe session. And thank you. Have a great profitable trading day.